Hi guys, so in the last video we talked about using the single SPA library to build micro frontend for Angular and in this video we'll be talking about using the same single SPA library to build micro frontend for the Vue.js framework. So let's get started, but before then please remember to subscribe if you consider any of these videos useful for you so that, you, so that you could get more of this video whenever I release them and please also motivate me to release more videos to you so please I am waiting for those subscriptions and also for those thumbs up if you consider this video helpful so let's get started so this was actually what we created in the last video it's a kind of a plain application but there's actually a whole lot going up here so right now we have three applications running we have the single SPA base application we have the react application which is actually this thing on this blue box and we have the angular application of course just retain that this is the angular application so we have the three of this um, application running so this is the base application or, or it's also called the roots application so it's actually the application who that is holding the Angular application and the React application together. So you can just call it a kind of a container application holding everything up together. We have the React application, which is what we have here. And here is the Angular application. So this time around, we are going to be adding one more application, which is the Vue.js application. So let's get started with that. Okay, so I would just open this folder on, in my terminal. So let's see. Okay, great. So this time around, I'm going to be creating the Vue.js um, single SPA micro frontend application using the um, create single SPA um, command. So let's say we go create um, single SPA. So I'm able to, once again, I'm able to use this command because I already have the single SPS CLI installed globally in my application. So if you don't have this application installed globally, you won't be able to use this. You won't be able to use this. So if you want to learn more about how to um, create this, to so install the single SPS CLI globally in your application, please go ahead and watch the first video on this series. So now it's asking me for what exactly we're going to use as the project um, directory. So for this, I'm just going to say, I'm going to use view app, or let me just say, um, say view SPA. So I'm going to press enter to this, and I'm going to select the first option, and then I have um, option for React, um, view Angular, and so many other frameworks over there. But for this one, I'm just going to be doing Angular, and since we've already talked about React, we've already talked about Angular, I just um, think that the Vue.js would be the last video of this series. And of course, if I feel like adding something else or something else comes to my mind and I feel that I have to share with you guys, I would definitely make a video on single SPA. But this is where I'll be drawing the quotes in on this video for single SPA for now. So for this video, we're talking about Vue. So I'm just going to select Vue. So um, at this point, it's asking me for my organization name. So I would choose um, view app, say view app this way. And okay, so I guess it's kind of processing. All oh, right, so now it's asking me, um, I should choose the version of Vue.js I want to use. So we have view tree, which is actually the recent and also stable um, version of view, but just um, they actually work both the same way. So you can set up single SPA for um, view two and view three the same way. You just need to choose the one you want over here. But just for the sake of many people, many people who are still using view two, I'm going to be using view two, two for this particular um, video. So I'll select view two over there and it's get my installation going. So it's basically going to install every single thing it needs to install. And I'm just going to take a break now. And when the installation is done, I'll get back to the video. Okay, so this is done now. All right, so let's um, move into our folder. And here we have the view SPA. I'm going to open this and I would open this on my IDE. So let's go on to see this. 
Okay, so here we go um, with the view application. So I, hold a minute, okay. So here we go with the view application. And at this point, um, we're just going to show one or two things. So majorly in our package.json, um, like we've always done. And over here, we have the normal way we serve view. So if you remember when it's time for, um, in the React video, we talked about saving React as a standalone, also in the Angular video as well. So same thing applies for view. If we should serve this view application this way, it's just going to serve, but we won't be able to use it um, with our root application. Where by the time we plug it into our root application, it won't really work that way. So in when we are working on our local computer, we need to always serve this as a standalone. So that is what we are going to do now. And I'll just wait for this to get done so I can just show you what this look like in case of you encounter this. So you know that, okay, that is, this is the reason why I am seeing the screen and this is the reason why this is not working. So let's see, over here we have this server and this port. I copy this. I'm going to put it over here and yeah, we have, it says, our microphone front end is not here because indeed it's not here. So we've actually explained this when we're talking about React is why this is happening so let's move over there and we going to stop the server and then we will going to start this one which is the standalone server so when we've done this we are going to take up this um, specific URL because this is basically the app.js file is actually the main file unlike angular but we have the main.js so the app.js is just similar to the main.js in angular so this is actually what we are going to be pointing in our um, roots application so we're just going to take this url plug it into our roots application and go on from there so this is served now and if we should refresh this we can see that we have nothing and this do happen with view. So this is basically an error that do happen in view. And I found a solution for this, to say. So it says that um, application view app slash app slash views SPA died and all that. So let's just not pay much so much attention on the error anyways, and let's just take a look at the solution. I actually have this error some time ago and found a solution to it, which I'm just going to walk us through. So if we should go over to our Vue.js application and scroll down to the bottom, we can see this Vue.conf.js um, config.js file. So what I'm going to do is this, I would just paste this code snippet over here. So this code snippet is actually going to tell um, Webpack to use the system, to use the system in the library target. And what this actually does is basically to make every um, to make every ES6 um, file to look like an ES5 file, something of that nature. So it's basically a webpack configuration stuff. But if we should place this code snippet over here, save your application, and this should be up and running. So if we should save this now, it's still not going, and that's because of our application is already. Um, it's already compiled when we um, serve this application. So we have to stop this and then save again. So I'm going to stop this now. I'm stopping this one. And that's what I stop all. Okay, so I'm going to serve um, the standalone application again. And this time around, this is going to compile with this specific um, webpack configuration. So let's see that happen. Okay, so great. So we can see our view application running at this moment. So unlike Angular Web, we just have a white screen showing up. For view, we can actually have the main application showing up itself. So just to confirm that this is working correctly, I will just go to my app.view and I'm going to take out everything here and just replace it with just with an H1 tag, like we did for that of the Angular. I'll say this is, this is command view application. This is the view application. So let's save this 
and see how that goes. Okay, here we have an error. Hello, what is a registered component but not used? Okay, I get that. So I'm just going to put the hello world back. Or rather, I'll take this and I'll put back the hello world component and just try to make a little change. I'll take out that particular image and just make a little change to know if you can see that. So we can see this is the view application. So I'm just going to leave this this way. And then I'll switch over to um, the base application. And here we are on the base application. But before then, I would like to inspect something from our network to verify that what we said initially about the JS file. So when we refresh this, we can still see the app.js over here. So we can still see that file. So I'm just going to copy the link over here, copy this link, move over to move over to um, our base application. Then from our base application, I would go to index.ejs. I'm going to duplicate this, add a comma here. Then I'm just going to change some certain things. So I'll paste our new URL over here. I guess I didn't copy that correctly. So I'll copy this again, paste our new URL. And I'll be calling this view and I'll be calling this a view as well. So I'll take this um, name, then I'll move over to our layout. So in this case now, um, I'm going to duplicate this and do the name this way. So let's just see how this would work first. So coming back to our, um, to our micro front-end application, you can see we have three applications showing up on the screen. We have our React application, which is this blue screen. We have our Angular application, just this part of the application, saying that this is the Angular application. Why right over here, we have our Vue.js application. So we can see how we can use multiple applications, well, how we can, first of all, bring multiple applications together and how we can use applications of different framework together all in one um, single SPA. Kind of think the single SPA is just the perfect name for <laughs> micro frontends. <laughs> so that is just it anyways. However, there's still one more thing I would like to show us before wrapping up this video. So, while we're dealing with this, we there is there are some setting. Um, okay, so first off, we can see that we have route here, that we have um, several application within our route. But so I'm going to take this out because this is not where it's supposed to be. So about that, so we'll say route. Okay, so I'm going to paste this here now and save this. And let's see what we have. Now everything is broken. So, and I'm going to add what we call path here. So I'm going to say the path of this should be, let me just call this view. And I'll save this now. So at this point, um, at this point, you can see that we don't have a view JS application showing up anymore. That's because of a few a view JS application is now kind of hiding in another route. So if I should say this slash view, and I go over here, so you can see that we don't have the this is Angular anymore. We only have the view application showing up over there. So that is how we can actually route between different application from our micro front end. So I would like to try one more thing. Um, I'll move over to, sorry, I'm going to move over to, to our React application and move to our source and come over here. So we can see that this is view right now. And I'm just going to say this should be view and this should just be the default. Okay, so let's let's see how this works now. So I'm going to click over here and this takes us to Angular. Click over here, this takes us to view. So that's just it and that's just how to go about the single SPA for React, Angular and Vue. So that's all and that's going to be the end of this short series of just four video. 
So, with rather cut in hair, however, if I have one or two other things to talk about about the single SPA, definitely I'm going to put up more videos upon the series if I have more things to say. However, this is not the end of the single SPA. There is actually a whole lot the single SPA is all about. You can always check out their documentation. So, you can say single SPA. You can say that and you can come over here to the website. So, they actually have a very good documentation here. So, you can go to their docs and take a, whole, take a look at a whole lot of things and come over here, see their menu, see their APIs, which is actually very, very useful, the APIs. Let's take a look at the CLI, so many stuff that you can learn from here. So, there are just so many things and this is just to get you started with single SPA and I hope you enjoy the series. So if you did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So that'll be all for now. Goodbye for now.